Well, while the financials are doing well, just take a look at the IT sector, the Nifty IT index off the highs of the day. In fact, uh, not performing in today's up move can afford to take a rest perhaps because it has outperformed all through the start of this year and also this month. So we have TCS, which is at the low point of the day. But what's moved to the high point of the day is Tata Steel. That stock should come up for you. Along with that, we have Tata Motors too moving to the high point of the day. But apart from that, one stock which is buzzing around in today's trading session is Lemon Tree Hotels. That's up more than 7%. The company has formed a joint venture with Warburg Pincus to focus on co-living. We'll have 30% stake in this planned investment of around 3,000 crores over the next seven years. Uh, so there's a new stream of business for the company, perhaps one of the new streams for the organized players to enter. Also, they're talking about uh, the massive transit in Indian population. Young students as well as uh, urban professionals can get co-living spaces. So they have 30% stake in what is a pur purported investment of 3,000 crores over the next seven years. They expect 100,000 rooms to be added over the next seven years. Most importantly, by the end of the first year, they will be working on close to around 2,000 rooms and get the internal business model right, working on two models. One, start their own business, start their own buildings, construct their own buildings, or go the capital light way, buy some distressed real estate assets. In a sense, working on 14 to 15 percent yields. In fact, this morning we spoke with Mr. Patanjali Keswani of Lemon Tree Hotels, and here's what he had to say. The board has approved uh, a joint venture with Warburg Pincus, which is uh, also, uh, of course, a very large private equity firm out of the U.S. And uh, our earlier investors with us in Lemon Tree Hotels. The majority stake is with Warburg Pincus. We are taking a significant minority stake. And this will be invested over time. So I want to be very clear. It's not an immediate equity investment. It will be an equity investment over the next seven years. And it is up to 3,000 crores. Our target is to build 100,000 beds in India. We will be conservative in the first year. So my estimate is that I don't want to you know, uh, talk about 10,000 beds or 20,000 beds. Maybe we will only do 2,000 beds. We will make sure that we iterate this in such a way that the business model gives us a minimum yield of 14 or 15 percent. Once we get there, then we will look at very rapid national expansion. Okay, all right. Fair bit of action from the broader markets. Bombay, Burma is a stock we're looking at. That's moving high, and it's moving higher very, very rapidly. So pull up the intraday chart. Bombay, Burma moves to the high point of the day. That's the one that holds the stake in Britannia, right? Let's pull usually, up Britannia. Usually it moves when Britannia is moving higher, but today it's moving without Britannia moving higher. So let's see what happens. Yeah, it looks like, yeah. Oh, okay, actually, in fact, 1%. Britannia as well has moved to the high point of the day, and Bombay, Burma is actually, Bombay, Burma is running faster than Britannia today. <laughs> so uh, Britannia is up a percent. Bombay, Burma has a big stake in Britannia. That's up close to around 3.5%. Right, we'll slip into a short break. You come back, we'll focus on some macro data. This has a November, uh, April to November fiscal deficit number has come in at more than $100 billion. More on that when we return.